the last question, but it's a bit more direct. So obviously, um, a few of you alluded to the Brighton budget, um, and basically, do you think that the right decision was taken by the Green Group there? And if not, what would you have done in that situation? Okay, so you're going to get just over a minute for you to answer. So, do you do your best to start to the right hand end? Sorry, it's a good question. But it's, <laughs> it's, a, it's a really tough question. Um, I think if I say what we did in Liverpool, we proposed 3.5% and we realised we couldn't propose 3.5%. We said we'll have a referendum and that's the amendment that we tabled. Whether I could see myself voting for a cuts budget, I can't put myself in a position where I think I'd support a cuts budget. But I don't think any of the Brighton councillors wanted to be in that position or had to be in that position. And what I don't want to do is a hypothetical of what I did in that situation because I certainly don't want to give any arms to the opposition. Um, if you know, either you know, any of us here that are elected, then you've got to be aware of that when you're answering these questions. Because okay? I think Brighton Labour would be happy to use whatever answer we gave against this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you. Yeah, well, on balance, I think it went the right way because I think I was most keen to see the first Green Council in action. And if the vote hadn't gone that way, then we might have lost our first fully green council. But what I also liked about it was that it was probably the first real test of not having a party whip in a, in a really fundamental way. And I liked it that Alex showed her mind and her mettle and the fact that she was an independent thinker. That's what I like about the Green Party, not having a whip. I like to see this happen and I like these discussions and I like the way we have to wreck our hearts and brains for outcomes for these kind of decisions. So yeah, on balance, I was happy enough with the way it went. Um, it's very hard to do this in a minute, in a minute but um, you know, austerity cuts are absolutely dreadful and it's worth remembering that the, the Brighton Council was put in that position because the Labour Party united with the Tories to vote down what was a very, very innovative, the 3.65% council tax rise, which the Greens proposed and then 26 other councils around the country, including some Tory councils, followed. So the Greens had come up with really innovative ideas, they'd done great things, and Labour joined it by killing with the Tories. And we need to keep saying that and saying that. But at the end of that, you know, we had a situation whereby <coughs> we were talking about what, you know, in terms of working with local groups. In the end, we have a lot of very good people on Brighton Council and we have to trust the decision they made in that room at that moment when they have to make a decision. And, you know, I think, you know, you'll have noticed that Caroline has stayed away from it and hasn't commented on it. You know, we absolutely can't have the leader coming up and saying, Green Councils did the wrong thing. That is an utterly unleavenly thing to do and it shouldn't be done and, you know, I would not do it. Uh, Caroline Lucas did make her views very clear at conference about the Brighton budget. Not, not on the record. Uh, not not intentionally on the right record, anyway. <laughs> okay, so I think what, what happened down in Brighton, my conversations with Jason Kitkat and other councillors before the budget, and it, the, this record of this, is that they could imagine if their 3.5% cut had been refused. They could imagine the Greens standing up and walking out of the chamber. Now, I'm not saying, why didn't you do that? What I'm saying is, the local party in a packed meeting, which happened to technically not be quite core, but I have never been to a London meeting as packed as that uh, before. I wasn't at it. It was 38 or 48, wasn't it? But, um, they had said, if this goes down the pan, if Labour gets into bed with the Tories to deny us this a uh, uh, slight tax rise which will allow us to, to cushion these cuts, then um, come back to us. They actually had the power to delay a decision. They could have used that with the press, with the local trade unions, with the public, and asked them, this is what's happening, they're ganging up, maybe it could have made a national story, and then the people could have said, look, we still want you to go back in there even though there's no more money because we can see what's happening, but we still trust you to make the decisions with this reduced budget. The Greens in Brighton could have made a really big story for the Green Party. So I would have said no.